what it is, what it ain't. I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. But first, you gotta hit that post notification bell button so you always been a loop every time I drop another five video. This your boy Gold Mouth Short. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we got Mob Boss in the news headlines. Looking like he done passed away at 89. We talking about Cadillac Frank, man. You know what I mean? He passed away at 89 years old earlier today, man. And he was locked up. He had an elbow. You know what I mean? This dude here was a uh he was out of Boston and he did a lot of time out here in Florida, man, in West Palm Beach, you know what I mean? But yeah, he done passed away, man. But I'm gonna play y'all a little clip about him, just chill. Breaking news on the murder trial of a reputed former mob boss. The jury has found Francis Cadillac, Frank Salemi, and his co-defendant Paul Wiedig guilty of the 1993 murder of nightclub owner Stephen DeSaro. Jurors announced their verdict after deliberating for more than 20 hours over the past few days. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been at federal court in Boston since the trial began. He joins us now live with those breaking details. Tim. Mike Shannon, those 20 hours of deliberations included reviewing hundreds of pages of transcripts and ultimately the jury deciding Frank Salemi and Paul Wiedek took part in the gangland slaying of Stephen DeSaro. Now, prosecutors argued Salemi and his late son killed DeSaro because they were concerned he was going to cooperate with the FBI. Testifying in the trial against Salemi were mob brothers Robert and Joseph DeLuca, the jury of 10 women and six men, including four alternates who didn't deliberate, ultimately decided the DeLucas or some of the 32 other witnesses were credible. Salemi's defense attorney, Stephen Buzang, tells me they will appeal. I think the DeLucas speak for themselves. I'm not going to cut everybody to shreds. I think everybody saw what they're capable of. Uh, hopefully they don't get a shake and, and uh, Bobby DeLuca uh, stays in jail where he belongs. I'm confident that... Uh, Jeez, man, yeah, dog. that boy Cadillac Frank, man, he out of here, man, you know what I mean? He thought he was going to get a second chance at life, man, but they had done uh, gave that boy life, man. I'm going to play y'all a little bit more of the clip, though. Fleming will stay in jail where he absolutely belongs, and uh, Joe DeLuca can go on uh, mushroom hunting. Now, what Stephen Buzang meant there is Bobby DeLuca will be sentenced late this summer after pleading guilty to perjury for initially lying to investigators about what he knew of the case. Salemi and Wiedek will be sentenced on September 13th. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they face a mandatory life behind bars. Now, coming up, new at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from prosecutors who worked for years on this case. Live in Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. More